Welcome everyone back to the Crimson 15 Podcast. I'm your host, Crimson 10. And 15 PCA. Native 454. Be sure to follow us on Twitter at C15 Podcast. So the Black Widow movie we talked about in the past and finally got the, a director, uh, Kate Shortland. And if that doesn't draw any, you no know, one knows what that is because it's a, you don't know who this is. Yeah. So. Um, a quick little look at her uh, movie history here. Uh, she did a couple of films. Her latest one is The Berlin Syndrome, a drama horror mystery released in 2017. Oh, that sounds like Black Widow. She yeah. did uh, a movie called Lore, a movie called Somersault, and no one knows what any of these movies are. No one. These, they're like Sundance Film Festival movies. Oh, yeah. Where yeah. It, it's not... So this person's going to direct a Marvel comic book movie? It's just... Yeah. It just hurts my head how stupid this is. Because it's, it's a woman. That's all that matters. That's all, they, they weren't looking for the best director. Again, they're just looking for... And then Kevin Feige, over half our directors are going to be female starting next time. No one cares about no, that. No one does. Don't please don't go down the rabbit hole like DC did. You don't need to do that. You've been making pretty good to great movies with the MCU. And you don't if you're, need this. And I feel bad. I know you don't need to do this, but I feel like if you're going to pick someone that isn't very known, at least have a comment from the director saying that they love this movie, they love this character, they love they're going to do really well. That will give us some confidence or something in these directors, but they don't. They no, just nothing. They say right here, this is an article from uh, comingtoon.net, and... Um, Who's our uh, Spencer Perry is the uh, author of the article. Um, they're saying, according to him, the studio reportedly met with over 70 different directors. Give me a list of all these directors. I want to see them. Because I don't believe you. Marvel, I don't believe you. I, I don't, yeah. Whenever they say that, it's almost like... Oh, know, we looked at 70 and this yeah. was the best. Who if, would... if they were to say 5 or 10, I'd believe you. Yeah. 70, you're full of garbage. You're making it sound like, this lady's so amazing. That's why we have these 70s. It's the one we pick. No, no. You're, you're overplaying it. You're overplaying it. Yeah, you think we're fools or something. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And uh, it's not in this article, but I remember reading, I forget where it was, but someone was saying, this Black Widow movie's supposed to be taking place after Iron Man 2, but before the first Avengers film. Who cares? Then? Who cares? Yeah. Who cares? It's so far removed from what's happening now, I don't care. This is something that I said about the new Star Wars films. I like the Han Solo movies, stuff like that. These sound like books, like novels. Yeah. Yeah, like, oh, yeah. if you just wanted to pick up a, a a Black Widow novel and you're like, oh, it takes place during this time. But to go through the whole process of shooting a big budget movie, it just seems stupid. Mm -hmm. What are we going to learn in this film that's so important that we need to know? No. Nothing. 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 It's not even the case like when you when we talked about Black Panther. Well, okay, you get to know what Wakanda is. Okay, so it makes sense that you want to see that. You know, you really didn't need to see it, but it was nice to get to know that. There's no reason to Nothing. see this. Nothing. She goes and does something and we beats already, people up. And... Yeah, we already know Black Widow is an assassin. We know she's bad A. We know she can take care of business. What else are we going to know? Uh, I don't know. I it's mean, just one of those things. We, we are, Again, I guess for people who literally know nothing about her, maybe you might learn something. But for the most part, we you can kind of figure it out from the movies. But nothing relevant yeah. to this movie is going to be relevant to what's happening now. That's no, the nothing. problem. Absolutely nothing. 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 That's the problem. That's a waste of a movie. Yeah. I would rather them, if they were going to do this, do it like how DC used to do, have like a short animation thing. Yeah. A little 10 minutes about this situation well, see, with, with what could happen in this movie. Uh, Marvel did a bunch of um, anime movies, and they did a Black Widow Punisher movie, and it was it's pretty fun. good. I yes. liked it. Yeah. I mean, the, the the animation was very uh, like they really focused on like Black Widow. Widow. They made her super sexy, mm -hmm. but that's like anime style. Yeah. You know, of course they're gonna hypersexualize all their characters because that's just the way they do it. But it was an okay story. I'd rather see that live action. Yeah, because right? they explained why the other the other heroes weren't in it because there's like a mind control thing going on. Like we can't risk losing Thor. And Hulk, Hulk and some of that to this mind control, so we can send in Frank Castle, the Punisher, yeah. and you can in Black Widow. You guys can go figure yeah. it out. Because if we lose you, it's not the end of the world. Maybe it makes sense also putting Hawkeye in there, but they didn't. Yeah. <laughs> but you can have those kinds yeah. of guys. That makes yeah. sense. You know, she's going to go on some mission, and it, it, who's she going to fight? Does it, Does Black Widow have any notable villains, like MCU villains, besides just like terrorist type people? I mean, it's, it's, it's going to be so far removed at this point. You might as well just make it like it's not even. She didn't have her code name yet. She just make it so far removed. If you're gonna do yeah. this, because I don't, I don't want it to be connected to anything Marvel because yeah. it makes it stupid. The only the MCU, villain, the, yeah, the only villain I can see because she talked about it in uh, Captain America Two would be Winter Soldier because she yeah. said she went on a mission, she got shot by someone she didn't know, yeah. and she saw him for like an instant, and yeah, it killed some guy, and she was trying to like a it was, it was like a protection detail, yeah. And then, 
So, and again, like, everyone keeps posting, remember, in the fight, they're like, oh, just like that time in Budapest, maybe this movie's gonna be about that, we finally learned what happened there. But that's like a stupid gag, I don't exactly. want a whole movie about exactly. it. That's fine, I don't need to see that. Yeah, it makes me smile for about a second, and I think about it, yeah, I want to blow a big budget movie. You're like, yeah, I'm no. learning some <laughs> stupid thing they made an offhand comment about. Yeah, um, so, it, it, basically, I feel like everything they said in the past movies are gonna be put on screen for this. And, and then you get a, like, eh. and basically, a throwaway director yeah. to do it. So, this yeah. doesn't look like it's shaping up the be anything no and this will be in the theaters this isn't direct to video or anything like that this will actually be in movie theaters guys i mean do we need this yeah and it's gonna just and not to be mean it, it's gonna probably do maybe okay but it's not gonna be the same caliber as no. the other marvel movies not even close and we already have a glove with a lot of superhero movies we don't need to add yeah. to it we don't need to add to it this is it. yeah this is like um like we said that the bubble is filling it's gonna yeah. burst Yep. And DC's doing this, Dan, is to poke holes in this bubble to blow yeah. it up. Marvel, you don't need to be adding throwaway characters. Mm -hmm. to yep. Black Widow's cool, but the story, the, the screenplay needs to be amazing, and you have to have an amazing director. Well, you already picked some throwaway director who's only done a couple of things that have nothing to do with superheroes no. or espionage, espionage or anything. anything. Mm -hmm. It's just ridiculous, and it's just a virtue signal of the movie. But, but she's a great ensemble piece, not as a main character. No. She yeah, just yeah. is. I'm sorry. She works great on a team with other people. Yeah, exactly. exactly. That's Black Widow's thing. I know. I again, we, I, and uh, Infinity PCA loved the Ghost in the Shell yeah. movie. It was good. It was actually great. It was a, a solid eight and a half out of ten. Yeah. But everyone had just poo pooed all over it and crapped all over it. So is this gonna happen with this one too? Well, yeah. How's this gonna work? And they had more to work with the Ghost in the Shell. Yeah. yeah. There's nothing to work because that's the main character. There's nothing to work with this. Um, like always, uh, I want to see a trailer. I want to, again, I don't know if that's confirmed that the movie's going to take place then. Yeah. I read that somewhere, but, um, hopefully not. I'd rather just have like a full blown origin film, like from like the beginning. Like, yeah, maybe yeah. that could do, you can't, that's what I said. We don't need an in between. We don't like need the whole that. red room thing. Like when she got first got trained. Yeah, when she was working with, uh, with, uh, Russia. Yeah. yeah the KGB. Exactly. And, and then she, maybe have it where she does fight Hawkeye. Cause there's that battle. She captures her, becomes a good guy. And you know, end it with meets, doing... uh, you know, good hooks up with shield and everything. Yeah. yeah. So that, and they end it with one of their missions. That'd be kind of good. I, this is kind of off the wall here, but I want to just say this. Wouldn't it be stupid in this movie if they have like some kind of like stupid joke to do with like uh, election interference in the 2016 election with Trump? That'd be so funny. So stupid. Would, I could yeah. see it. I could see it. I could totally. Isn't that, that horrible to think that? <laughs> that'd be so stupid. Oh, God. But it says like with this kind of director, this is mm -hmm. kind of this, the landscape in Hollywood yeah. now. You would. Yeah, I wouldn't put it past them. It's stupid and off the wall, but it may not be so crazy. Yeah, it may happen. <laughs> it was Hydra. Hydra got Trump elected. I know. <laughs> I might as well just do that, right? I know. Right? Oh, it's my so goodness. Dumb. Um, I don't know. Scarlet, you're okay. Um, leading lady, it just you kind of fall into the position of being really good second lead. Yeah. And maybe that's where, you, where you're at, and that's yeah. fine. I'm nothing wrong with it, but you can't just hold the yeah. thing by yourself. Especially something that's supposed to be a, a big character like Black Widow. It's supposed to be in the MCU. Uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll wait for a trailer. Again, this is ways off. Maybe it gets canceled. Maybe it never gets made. But who knows? It wouldn't bother me if it got Yeah, if it wouldn't break my heart. <laughs> no. no. Crimson Sin here. Thanks for watching and be sure to like, sub, and share. Also, for the most up-to-date information about the podcast, follow us on Twitter at C15Podcast. 